Okay, so there are basically two ways that I would try to format two 5x7 prints on one 8.5x11 sheet of paper. Um, and both of those will involve going to Lightroom and using the print module in the top right corner. Um, once you're there, then you have all of these um, tabs that you can choose from. I'm going to start with the bottom tab called Print Job. And this is where you can choose whether you're saving it to a JPEG file, which basically just is what you would select if you were sending this um, file to a print lab to be printed outside of your studio, or printer, which is what you would select if you wanted to actually print it off in your actual physical printer that you have in your space. So I'm assuming because it's 11 or 8.5 by 11 that you just want to print it out on a, on a standard piece of paper and that it's just something you're doing for proofing for your own space. So I'm going to go ahead and click um, printer here. And I'm not 100% sure if this uh, is configured, uh, configured automatically to be 8.5 by 11 and it, then you would change it if you had to. I think if you go to page setup, that's where you can choose if it's a, you know, what paper type it is. But mine's just automatically uh, a letter size, so 8.5 by 11. Um, and you can make sure that you've got the correct printer selected. Um, and then print settings uh, will be like how you control if it's a draft or, or high quality image, things like that. Uh, once you have the, the page set up the way you want, then you would go to, hmm, not page, layout and image settings are the ones that I'm going to adjust here. So the first thing that I would do is I would say, because we're looking at an eight and a half um, going this way by 11 going this way, we want these to be um, five inches high by seven inches wide. Um, and we'll actually rotate to fit. And that is going to be the actual five by seven. So it's five going this direction, which is the height. Um, and then um, we'll add a row. Let's see. So we want to have two rows. Um, and because this is set to a, st a specific um, number, 5 by 7, you'll know that it's the correct ratio. But you do need to click this um, zoom to fill because if the images were not um, cropped to that exact ratio, they will stay with the ratio that they were cropped in until you check that on. And, um, and if you want to adjust the margins and everything, you can do that here. So I might say, oh, I want a little bit more on um, the top, so maybe uh, 0.3 instead of 0.25. Um, that will adjust then this vertical spacing here. So maybe we'll say 0.34, and um, you know, it's kind of up to you. Then um, another thing to keep in mind, I didn't know if you wanted to have uh, two duplicates of the same image, in which case you would select repeat one photo per page. Um, otherwise, it will just uh, automatically populate with whatever images you have selected. Um, keep in mind, if you select more um, than the number of images that are uh, allowed on this page, it will print um, two uh, pages, and it will just have, um, or multiple pages, and it will just show you the preview of the first page, so keep that in mind. Um, the other way that I might do it is by um, changing this to say I want to save it to a JPEG file. That will allow you to actually type in your own custom file dimensions here, which we've got right now set to 8.5 by 11, and all of this remains the same. But um, those are the two different ways that I would do it. Either way, it's in the print module. Anytime I'm formatting something for print that needs some kind of border, or if I want it to have any kind of collage, I use Lightroom's print module. So good luck. I hope that's been helpful. If you want to hear more from me, you can check out my website at emilylondonportraits.com, or you can find me in the In Bed with Sue education page at suebrice.com.